Hey guys, what's up? This is Hunter Nelson with Tortoise and Hare Software and today we're going to be taking a look at whether you're getting a return off of your social media efforts. Alright, so let's pop over here to Google Analytics um, and take a look at the channel report in the all traffic uh, area here. Use this as a starting point. Um, so we're going to look at the January 1st to December 31st, 2020 report um, for Tortoise and Hare software website. Um, this is already a filtered view, view based on only US uh, visitors. Um, so just something to keep in mind. Um, so the default channel groupings here in Google Analytics, um, there's display, organic search, uh, direct traffic, which is people coming directly to your site via typing in the address, um, social, paid search, referral, email, and other. Um, so we've got the social um, visitors here, and I'm gonna go ahead and click on that to kind of drill down into that channel. And this is a good kind of starting point to see just like raw figures. Um, so, you know, we had roughly a thousand users last year. Um, and almost all of those were new users and sessions uh, about a thousand so a couple of people had repeat sessions uh, bounce rate 70 percent uh, not too bad pages a session 1.19 and an average session duration of 104 which is anything over a minute is usually pretty good um, goal conversion rate around one percent and goal completions uh, 13 um, so, you know, this doesn't provide the complete picture of social media, but it does provide what I would say is a good picture of complete strangers um, to the business uh, contacting you. Because a lot of ha time what happens on social media is people will either, will either message you directly, you know, on LinkedIn or Facebook or whatever it is, or they'll call into the business. Um, and you know, there's other ways to track some, some of those to an extent, but um, just be aware that this is really a fraction of what's going on in social media. Um, this really represents people that have seen your content or a link shared to your website, gone to your website, and then converted directly on your website um, if you have your conversion tracking set up properly. So, you know, I'd estimate this is probably around 50% of what actually happens in terms of like conversions coming from um, social media, um, but that's just something to be aware of. And then whenever you're looking at analytics, analytics is going to be a um, sampling because, you know, people are going to have uh, privacy enabled browsers, ad blockers, um, things like that too. So, um, you know, further kind of boiling down what the value of the social media is within this analytics. But again, it's a good proce uh, proxy and can give you like directional feedback on um, how you're doing from a social media perspective. Um, so a good baseline is to start with this all channels report. Look at your most popular social networks. Um, one of the first things that jumps out to me here is I've had the top source of social media traffic was from Facebook very strange because I focused um, pretty much on Reddit and LinkedIn for Tortoise and Hare software. Not a big um, face, Facebook advertiser, um, mostly because I don't think Facebook as, is as strong in B2B um, and just personal preference. Um, but you can also see, although it was the highest traffic driver, uh, eight second visit time, so not very uh, good. Um, whereas you can see Reddit and LinkedIn where I focus on kind of building an audience and engaging and kind of like commenting on people's posts and like being more involved. There's a lot more kind of reciprocal engagement in, ter in terms of uh, average session durations and conversions that come off those channels. Um, another kind of good way to slice up this report is to look at a segment and can look at non-bounce sessions. Um, to get kind of a better feel of like what your real engagement is with your qualified audience. So we can see, although we had, you know, about a thousand visitors come 
based in the U.S. that probably 280 of those were really like engaged visitors because they didn't bounce um, and that's really reflected in the average session duration here which goes up substantially uh, to 3 minutes and 47 seconds the goal conversion rate goes up to 4% which is good you know 2 to 5% is like a, a baseline conversion rate for the web anything over that chances are you're either not getting enough traffic or you're just doing a bang up job um, uh, but yeah so you know this is, is good uh, range um, and you can see again that uh, LinkedIn and Reddit were kind of the top uh, channels there um, so that's kind of the channels report there's also this um, social set of reports within Google Analytics I'm gonna come over here to the overview one and um, you know, so we can see that there's been 7,000 sessions, 1,000 via social referral, consistent with what we saw in the channels report. We've had 13 conversions, um, and with a like higher volume site, this is like a really interesting number: is the contri contributed social conversions and the last interaction social conversions. So we know that like social media was like the last channel they touched for 12 of these, but we also had one conversion that was like. Uh, somewhere along the journey before they con converted they visited social so like maybe one day they see something on our um, social media page and then come to the website and then later get hit with a retargeting ad and come and convert or maybe they do an organic search um, for the branded term and come and convert later but you know it's a good idea to kind of get um, contributed conversions uh, you know everybody will, will want to obviously know the, kind of the last interaction social conversions but um, for a higher volume website uh, this will be probably more the important number is like how is so, uh, uh, social contributing overall to some of these direct website conversions um, and it's good to kind of get some information there um, I also like to, to kind of take a look at this uh, shared URL metric so this can kind of give you directional feedback on what the most engaging content was um, that you shared on social media. Like for instance, this Google Ads case study here, I know got a ton of engagement on Reddit, so definitely not surprised to see it here in the um, top shared URL URLs on social report. And then the home page is um, you know, usually going to be the top spot or whatever page that you're linking to um, as your page um, kind of primary call to action button. So like here on LinkedIn, come to Tortoise and Hare Software and view as member. Whatever you've chosen as your URL for this kind of visit website um, or whatever your kind of like primary call to action button. Same thing on Facebook, they'll allow you to um, put like a button here and then you can put a custom URL for that button. So usually whatever URL that is, is going to have like kind of the highest um, traffic. Um, last thing I want to kind of touch on here that's a good one to look at is the um, top conversion paths report. Um, so what I've done here, and let me clear the um, segment here but uh, so this will give you like a feel for like what the conversion paths are for your conversions overall um, and so we can see that you know we had 12 that the full conversion path was a social network um, direct visits here then two direct visits a referral and a direct visit for this conversion there's three direct, direct visits, probably hit them with a retargeting ad here on paid search. Um, so this gives you kind of like the types of conversion paths that you saw. Um, and you can apply a conversion segment. I've created one already called any interaction has social. So if any of the interactions here along the way had social network in them, they'll appear in this conversion segment. And you know you, this can help you get a better feel for um, 
how social is playing in terms of like uh, user journeys or conversion journeys. You know, so if people are discovering you with organic search here and then following you on social and then converting later with like a retargeting ad, you know, that you would see those sort of paths within your um, top conversions um, paths report. And that can give you, again, directional feedback into your um, buyer's journey. Um, so once again, you know, the, these reports are like good ways to get a better understanding of the role social is playing. You know, I've looked at um, businesses with like 10, 20K a month visitors and shown them like you're not doing anything on social, like totally wasting your time um, in terms of like actually having contributed conversions. Um, and so, you know, that's interesting. And there's other websites that are gonna have um, you know, strong engagement in terms of social and are under investing. You know, every business is different, uh, and you know, some of this depends on the quality of the analytics um, and making sure that um, you're tagging in as many URLs as you can with social uh, network. There will be automatic tagging for many of the most popular social networks, um, but. Uh, again, so these kind of reports, the uh, all traffic channels report, this social report, and then this top conversion paths report are kind of good starting points to look at and get a feel for uh, how your um, social media performance is doing. And um, you can check out, again, kind of some more segments such as like the non-bounce seg segment. You can look at your desktop versus mobile. Um, and some of the other like ways you can slice it up uh, to get more feedback. Um, you know, there's all sorts of different ways that you can do more advanced analytics to um, investigate how you can improve your social media uh, campaigns. Um, but this is like a good starting point. Um, if you have any questions or comments, definitely let us know um, in the comments below. If you're watching this on YouTube or on LinkedIn and um, you know we'll answer whatever we can and uh, get back to you. Uh, again, I'm Hunter Nelson with Tortoise and Hare Software. Check us out on the web, tortoiseandhairsoftware.com, and thanks for watching.